All right, what's going on, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this Sunday night. Tomorrow is Labor Day. I hope everybody has a nice holiday. Uh, the topic of this video tonight is it's you know it's basically uh, injuries in the wrestling world, and um, you know uh, we recently heard a report about John Cena uh, having a severe neck injury. And obviously the reports were blown totally out of proportion. But at the time when those reports came out, we saw some video footage and whatnot. Nobody really knew that the injury was not as severe as it was made out to be. Uh, Cena did wrestle again in a street fight match with Kevin Owens last night. So obviously, you know, he's doing fine. And I find it amazing after the reports came out, uh, some of the comments that were made um, you know, there was a lot of negative comments, you know, wishing that, uh, Cena was hurt. So he, he couldn't wrestle no more, hoping it was a career ending thing. And, you know, I, I just don't understand the, the mentality of some people. And I think their morals are just a little off a bit. Um, I'm not a big fan of a lot of, uh, of wrestlers. Okay. Uh, but I am a fan of wrestling. And I don't want to see any kind of injury happen to anybody which would put them out of work, which would stop them making money for their family. Uh, I think anybody that really wishes bad things for a superstar in wrestling needs to think about this and think twice. I mean, think about what you're saying. Yeah, if you're not a John Cena fan, so be it. Don't be a John Cena fan. You can dislike somebody, but don't wish harm on him. Um, back in the earlier days, I just got done watching uh, No Way Out 2002 this morning because I'm going in order of my pay-per-views and I try to get one in a week. And uh, Triple H had just recently come back after his quad injury. He was out for like eight months. Now, back then, it's sort of funny because I wasn't a big Triple H fan back then because uh, when, talk about people always hogging the spotlight. Triple H was involved in the spotlight quite a bit back then. Uh, but, you know, maybe I didn't like him back then, but I wasn't happy uh, when he ripped his quad muscle and he was gone for eight months because I think it was a detriment to the, to the product in WWE. And I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. And it's much like any other injury uh, with professional wrestlers, you don't, you just, you just don't want to wish that upon anybody. I mean, anybody at all. Um, you know, when Shawn Michaels was out with his back injury, you know, whether you were a Shawn Michaels fan or you didn't like Shawn Michaels, you know, Shawn Michaels had an attitude back in, in the days and, um, he was very easily, uh, a target to be disliked because of his attitude. But, you know, you don't wish that on anybody. And for me, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a John Cena or a Triple H or a Shawn Michaels or anybody else. Um, you know, it's it's just, to me, it's just morally wrong. But, uh, yeah, so, I, you know, watching No Way Out, it was sort of ironic today because um, I just got done watching that. And Triple H and Kurt Angle had a match where... Triple, Triple H, who had won the Rumble the previous month, was going to main event Mania against, the, against the, the present champion. At the time, it was the, or it is the undisputed champion, Chris Jericho. And uh, so Angle and, and Triple H had this match, and Stephanie was the guest referee. And it was just, this whole pay-per-view, the refs got knocked around so much, it was sort of, was sort of funny. But anyway, Kurt Angle won this match, and uh, Triple H lost his right uh, to face the champion at WrestleMania. And uh, ASC 316 put up a video uh, today where it was the following night on Raw where, you know, Ric Flair makes... Kurt Angle faced Triple H once again for the number one contendership. And it's just ironic that he put that video up after I just got done watching No Way Out and I told him so. It was sort of cool. But yeah, injuries 
in wrestling, uh, the bottom line is these guys are out there, you know, night after night, 300 plus days a year, uh, performing for all of us. And uh, it's easy enough to get an injury. Uh, if you're exhausted, you're fatigued, uh, you can make mistakes. You know, much like Seth Rollins did with John Cena when he broke his nose, a lot of people were happy about that as well. You know, Seth Rollins and the WWE used this for a storyline, but I did hear remarks from Seth Rollins, you know, away from wrestling, saying when it happened, he felt it, he knew it. And, you know, it wasn't done on purpose. And that's the thing. It was just fortunate enough that John Cena was able to continue to finish off that match. Uh, he was gone for a very short time. But, yeah, I mean, it's hard enough performing night in and night out. And uh, it's so easy to get injuries. But, you know, these guys are there to uh, perform for us and entertain us. And the bottom line is, it's whether, it, whether it's a zero guy on the totem pole or the top guy on the totem pole, you know, I don't want to see any of these guys get hurt. I mean, it's their job, it's their living, and, you know, they have to feed their families. And, uh, you know, I just think the mentality of fans nowadays um, sometimes um, just get a little too involved and, you know, let's remember, guys, this is an entertainment show, um, more so now than it ever has been, and it's scripted. And, you know, like I said, injuries happen enough in the world of professional wrestling. Don't wish it upon anybody. Um, it's just totally wrong. You know, that's my opinion. I mean, you know, I know others have their own opinion and, you know, they have a right to their opinion. But, you know, this is just how I am. Uh, I enjoy wrestling, whether it be TNA, the WWE, Ring of Honor. And, you know, you have your favorite stars in each promotion and you have the guys that you, you love to hate, these heel guys. And, uh, you know... Usually, uh, it's the faces that get the most heat because today is not the age of the baby face superstar in wrestling. It's not like it was in the 80s when Hulk Hogan was there where everybody was a big fan of the baby face. Or it's not like it was in the late 90s, early 2000s when The Rock and Austin uh, were baby faces. Yeah, they switched from heel to baby face on a number of occasions. Um, but it's just not that time. It's just not that era. This is the era of 2015. It's the PG era. It is what it is. And we have to accept it. I mean, we're, we're not going to bring back the attitude era. And, uh, you know, I think that's what people are looking for, but you know, you, you gotta get real with it. It's, it's not coming back. It's the PG era. It's, it's a kid orientated show nowadays and that's how it is so anyway those are my thoughts and my opinions here on this sunday night again tomorrow uh, being labor day happy labor day to everybody and uh, we'll see y'all next time a uh, little bit under the weather but i'm starting to feel a little bit better so you know maybe i can get myself back into a hangout again real soon so have yourself a great night everybody